previously on Oxventure Presents Blades in the Dark. An old friend from Zilla's prize-fighting days asked for help stealing from promoter Cross Colburn. The target? A small fortune in bets placed on a whole night of fearsome fights. But the evening took a twist, with the announcement of a new headline brawler. None other than Zilla herself. So, Cross Colburn uh, has decided that he's going to let you place your bet, Barnaby, mm -hmm. but that Zilla is going to fight in this in this festival of fights showcase. He gestures to um to in fact to, to the to the fighter who he was like talking to before. Take Mr. Fortescue, show him how we do business, assure him of our security, make sure he feels comfortable placing his very large bet. Uh, you can almost see the kind of like little sort of mm -hmm. dollar signs kind of in his eyes as, <laughs> as he's excited about this. Um, and I wish you good luck, Mr. Fortescue. May the odds be in your favor. Thank you, Mr. Colburn. Um, and then he spins to you, Zilla. You can tell like this is his this is his main course. This is the conversation that he's really excited about about having. Zilla, I must choose which of my warriors will have the honor of facing you in combat. But first, may I introduce you to the crowd? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Yeah, all right, cross. Cool. Let's do it. Cool. You wait. You wait a few minutes until you hear like a ding, 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 and a, a huge roar goes up from the from the crowd outside, and um, and and cross goes, ah, the bout is over. Zilla, come with me. And he he sort of leads you out of the green room, down that corridor, opens the door. Every, he's he's expected. So so now at this point he's kind of flanked by security who are like clearing a little path up to the ring. Uh, and they've put some little steps out so that it's easy to enter. I say the ring. This isn't kind of like uh, surrounded by the kind of like elasticy. This isn't ropes. It's a cage. Um, it is a cage. Yeah. Mm. Um, there's a little door where these um, where these where these stairs are. Um, that as you like approach. Sorry, go on, Barnaby. Uh, all I was going to say before we progress is that I feel like this is actually a really good opportunity for me to look at the the back room while this is going on because there will be some at least some commotion yes when zilla is revealed to the crowd so when we, f when we flash to when we yeah. flash to barnaby we'll go back in time a little bit to see what's, okay. see what's cool. happening with um uh, with you barnaby yeah um you're led into the ring zilla um mm. cross as well and the crowd goes absolutely wild and he says my friends i bring before you a titan of the prize fighting world Zilla! Tonight, we will have the pleasure of seeing her fight my greatest warrior, Morlan! Crowd goes wild. You actually, you've heard of Morlan before, Zilla, but never actually met them. By reputation, they are an extremely um, fearsome and ferocious fighter. The cheering doesn't really stop, so Cross kind of like puts his hands up for silence and immediately the room kind of like falls, falls into a deadly hush. He says, um... This will be the greatest festival of fights ever. Place your bets now. The house is offering eight to one on Zilla, two to one Zilla to be defeated by knockout. Um, everyone. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, again, and everyone goes wild uh, and there is a rush for the sort of betting um, station. If all goes well, this could work out very well for you because the potential score is swelling considerably as everyone rushes to um, place a bet. But first, but first, enjoy another fight. It will be my fighter, Grine. Uh, the crowd goes wild again for Grine. And Grine will be fighting... Um, Marlene. Um, ah. Yeah, yeah. Um... Please enjoy this bout and look forward to the main event. Morlan, Zilla, the Clash of Titans. Yeah, one night only, get your bet, do bet everything you have, because uh, <laughs> one, one night only. So the, the, crowd is, the crowd is whipped return. up into an unbelievable fervor. <laughs> this, is a, this is an incredible opportunity for them. Zilla, let me just ask you, are there, um, are there rumours about why you like left the fighting world I, I imagine it doesn't oh yeah lots okay. lots because uh, I wasn't exactly like open and public about why I left because I left to join a, the criminal underworld and make better money of course uh, so so rumours abound speculation as to why. is right yeah I, I have a large large family on my mother's 
side. I've got um, nieces and nephews and sisters and brothers to help support. They're all uh, Acherosian refinery workers at the Le- Leviathan Blood Refinery, and it doesn't pay amazingly well. So I've got got a lot of people to to help upkeep. That might and, be partly uh, my actually, fault, actually. I think we co-own some of that. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> that sounds about right. Also, uh, even though there's a lot of money sloshing around in in uh, Volusport prize fighting, turns out actually a lot of it doesn't go to even the successful prize fighters, even the even the borderline celebrity prize fighters, it actually goes to the, the crooked promoters and uh, managers and, you know, and, and whatnot. So, and indeed, Cross was dressed in incredible finery. Yeah, so the rumours the rumors are, are many and various because no one would, no one would believe... Uh, well, would they believe? No one knows for sure that I left to join a, <laughs> a, a criminal gang. Excellent. All right, well, now at this point, let's flash back slightly in time. Barnaby, uh, you are being... You are led out of the green room by a by by one of um just ambient warriors yeah. fighters <laughs> kind of standing around um she's got like uh, she's she's not dressed to fight this evening but um but you know she's kind of like doing odd jobs and stuff she's got mm-hmm. her hair in a high ponytail um and just in case she's got her fist kind of like wrapped in cloth in case she you know in case she needs to um it looks cool it looks like cool it, it always looks cool it always looks cool just in case she needs to like absolutely break any faces on short notice follow me then um and sort of beckons follow you go you pass through that corridor that you were in before um and she opens a door to the office barnaby as as you are led in and as you go through this door something just catches your peripheral vision mm-hmm. like so a, a, a series of shapes sort of in the corridor but when you look at them they they appear to vanish and, and you as if they were never there at all how peculiar yeah and you're led into the office so in this room we have an ornate wooden desk which is uh colburn's personal desk built into one wall is an enormous safe Mm -hmm. uh like a very very thick metal uh but you are led around this room um to another door which leads on to the betting room so you you now can like mm-hmm. see you're not, you're on the other side of that grate on the grill basically yep up on stage um no one is no one is looking your way because you know up on stage uh, all that's currently going on Zilla's being announced and this somewhat bored uh fighter is kind of like showing you exactly how bets are taken okay uh, i'd like to survey the 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 room and see if there are any vulnerabilities at all um, go for it <clears throat> so i roll one that's a three. That's a three. You don't really notice any vulnerabilities. Um, the only thing that you can see is what is perfectly obvious and what is basically being explained to you, which is that you know money comes in, uh, like amounts are sorted um, down by the on the ground uh, by the people taking the bet. There is like a, a big sort of square lock box. Mm-hmm. Um, the top of it. Uh, is a series of different sort of compartments um, mm. for basically different kinds of currency. Yep. The the security here is very great, um, and mm. that as soon as as soon as the night is over and all you know winnings have been paid out again, what is what remains is taken straight into the room you were just in and put straight into the safe. Right. With no delay. Got it. Got it. Um, <clears throat> what can I do? Well, I I'm gonna chat a bit to the to the people who man that that room. Is that okay? It's okay for about another twenty seconds because they are they are about to be stormed yeah. by people wanting to place bets on okay. Zilla's fight. I'll I'll be the first to break the 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 sort of well not the first to break the news to them but like uh, I'm going to talk to them about it. Um, so you've heard that, that Zilla's making her her grand return. You're going to want to see this, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, I should say, incredible. I mean, uh, are you, I mean, you must want to watch the fight. I mean, watching her in action for the first time in God knows how long. Yes, oh, it's all right. We we have a a reasonable view from here, right? But not you know you're not going to be hit in the face with the sweat and things. You know all those things you people like. I mean that we love us fight fans. Yeah. Are you boasting about your VIP position? So he sort of like clocks your wristband. Well, we do. Yeah, we do have a good view from up there. I, yeah, well, I'm I mean, sure by design. Yeah. Well, I mean, I could I could let you. I mean, I'm close friends with Zilla. It's fine. I'll be very close to the ring. You're close friends with uh, Zilla. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. She's. What's she she's, like? Oh, marvelous. Wonderful. Wonderful. <gasps> very. Uh, although she looks like she could kill you, she hasn't killed me yet. So yeah, it's it's great. Um, that is but, remarkable. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I could. 
you know, I could pop you the old VIP wristband for the fight if you wanted to nip. I mean, there won't be any bets while the fight is on. Everyone will be watching it. So you, I could pop you the wristband well, beforehand. As you... soon as the fight starts, obviously, we, you know, close the shop. No bets Yeah, exa- well, exactly. You could just nip out and watch some of the fight from the VIP area. I mean, you guys are doing a wonderful job, so... <laughs> Make me a roll, Barnaby. Uh, this is a sway, and I have two dice for sway. Yeah. It's a big sway. <laughs> it's two twos. Not, <laughs> not so good. Not particularly convincing. He looks very tempted, mm. and he goes, actually, I don't think that would be a problem. I mean, what's the harm? Uh, but over here in this conversation is the fighter who came in with you, and mm. she um, immediately sort of like, slams a hand down on the table and uh, says these employ- betting employees stay in the betting area uh, she says it to you Barnaby um, mm. but you can tell that it's actually really addressed at, of at, course at, at, um, at these, at these that's two. not a problem yes they absolutely. go back to their work yeah. uh, have you seen everything you want to see in here I think yes, it's about thank to get you very busy. much. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the only thing I would like to see before uh, I place my bet um, would be uh, the other fighter. I need to know which fighter I'm going to put my money on. Just because I'm here as a friend of Zilla doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to bet on her. So <laughs> let me go and inspect the other the other fighter, wow. please. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, that's the the the, the fighter go, you're you talking know, to. Squeeze the muscles and stuff. Check it. Check it's all you know, operational. <laughs> well. It's me. I'm Morlin. Oh, fabulous. Fabulous. Well, you you look very dangerous indeed. Thank you. Okay. Well, well lovely to meet you anyway. Yes. Um marvelous. Uh okay. Uh well, you know, uh I can I'm sure I can see myself out. <laughs> yes. Uh, in fact, I'll take you. Okay. Uh, she walks you back to the 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 green room. Um But is there a bathroom? Yes, it's just next to Yes, there is. Um, it's between. If you, I don't know how uh, clear the geography of this this space is in mm. your mind. Um, as you, the door to the green room. Mm. Uh, it's the next door to the left. Cool. Fine. That is the bathroom. Yeah. I'm just gonna head in that direction. Yeah. She. Uh, she. As as you head out that way, she's going back to the green room. So you're parting mm. ways at this point. But she she does just grab you and and says, um, "Mr. Cross doesn't like it when people jerk his chain." He's been promised a sizable bet. Mm-hmm, yeah. I suggest you deliver. Absolutely. It's not a problem. All right. So you're not going to the bathroom to, like, go? No. Well, I mean, it doesn't even look like there's a window in there, does it? So I'm not going to be climbing out the window or anything. <laughs> well, you mentioned climbing out the window, which makes me a little nervous, to be honest. <laughs> you sound like you're the paranoid one. <laughs> now I desperately, desperately need to take a tinkle, so if you'll... Please excuse me. Yeah, she 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 she's done. Uh, yes, yeah, so she, yeah. She heads back to the green room, and you are back. You are back out in the crowd. Um, as you get out there, Zilla has already been led back to the green room. Mm-hmm. In the ring now is um, Grine and Marlene. They are pummeling mm-hmm. each other. Yep. Fine. Um, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to place my bet. Oh, okay. Cool. Yep. yep. I'm going to go right. to the the front of the window. Okay. And yep. with a sure. knowing nod at the person taking the bet. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna place a sizable bet because I'm pretty confident I'm gonna get that money back, anyway, and then some. Okay. So I am going to bet on Zilla, uh, okay. and as I do it, <laughs> I'm I'm, I'm going to very obviously slip the VIP wristband ribbon off my wrist and, with a knowing nod, pass it with my bet to the person taking the bets, and I'll be like, cool, 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 cool. Uh, yeah, make me roll me for that. Maneuver. What is that? I don't know. What is that? I suppose the the. I mean, I'm slipping the the wristband's not hard to to put in with the with with the money. It's the nod. It's the, you know. I'm trying to I'm trying to tempt this person into doing their, what they're is not it a supposed to do. Non-verbal sway. Is it? Yeah, it's an. I would say it's and... an. I would say it's a non-verbal sway. A non-verbal sway. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> don't don't forget you can um, push yourself if you want to add an extra dice. Why not? Why not? Let's Why go not? for all stress. three. Stress. Get the stress. Yum, yum, yum. Uh, okay, let's do it. Uh, top results are five. Great. Ooh. Which is a success mm-hmm. with a complication. You place the sizable bet. Let's... Well, how sizable is it, Barnaby? Um, the... Let's say that because you knew you were heading out here and because you knew betting mm. was going to be part of this, you took the gang's entire... 
um, finances. <laughs> oh no! Which, as it stands, is uh, six coin. I think after expenses and stuff, Bloody you have hell. yeah, you have you have six coin uh, after expenses. Doesn't Barnaby have like his own personal reserve of Barnaby? Oh, yes. Are you yes, oh, yes. Uh, yes, Barnaby, you do have your own personal. I might reserve. top it up to ten. Let's top it up to ten coin. <laughs> okay, so we're still spending the gang's money, but you're adding some of your own. Cool. Pocket change, like I said, pocket change. I don't know what the economy is like in Volusport, but I feel like we've I've just oversold. destabilized it. <laughs> okay, good. All right, so so, that, so Actually, it is a big bet. You know what? Like for the kind of bet that warrants like a special tour and yeah. you know like assurances and getting to inspect the fighter, yeah. it was going to have to be no, six. Was the it, I had in my mind as the absolute minimum. Um, okay, because All right, you know good. there's already some big big bets flying around here. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ten coin comes in. Um, it eyebrows are raised. Not only you know like you know people around. In fact, as you so you're betting ten coin uh, on Zilla. Yep. As this as this money goes into the pot, uh, the 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 one in charge of the blackboards kind of looks at the money, looks at the odds that Zilla has, and says to says to their colleague. I need to talk to Mr. Cross about this. I'm not sure of the maths here. <laughs> well, really, you should have thought of that when you set the odds, didn't you? You know. <laughs> I don't think anyone was expecting such a gigantic bet. So that that person has sort of temporarily scurried off to find uh, Colburn, and leaving the leaving the other person. Yeah, they receive the they receive the wristband. They look at it, and uh, and they look at you, and uh, an understanding passes passes between you. Just a generous man. Just a generous man. Well, now that I've demonstrated that actually I am, you know, uh, as I say I am, I'd like to go and give my, my fighter a pep talk, please. I'm going to march back into the backstage area. Swan in. Yeah, no one's going to stop say, me. Let's say at this point the, the the fighter who punched the door is like so used to seeing you come and go out. <laughs> Hello again. <laughs> me again. Our newest patron, Mr. Forescue. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, what I would like to do is head into the green room where I assume that uh, the rival fighter is going to be carb loading at some point probably <laughs> and my goal I, 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 is that I, how it works yeah yeah <laughs> okay. um uh and uh i'm going to try and well whatever they're eating i'd like to try and drop something in just to make sure they're slightly off their game so what oh. i've done is given that we're down at the docks i'd like to flash back and when we arrived i popped into a little bottle tincture nothing too deadly just some found a really rotten fish and basically wrung it out into a bottle. So it's going to be a really disgusting bout of fairly uh, rapid onset food poisoning. Okay. Um, and so I'm just, you know, I'm just going to basically uh, take a moment when um, when uh, Zilla's rival is is not looking uh, to just slip out of my fancy coat a little bit of disgusting rotten fish essence into the food. Yeah, so in the green room, Zilla... You're in here. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. What are you doing? What are you up to? I'm, I'm, I'm doing the same. I'm putting the cool uh, wraps. Just drawing on. attention, hopefully. <laughs> I mean, presumably, it's a bit of a thing watching the the pre-fight ritual. Yeah, 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 yeah. The pre-fight ritual of like putting on the putting on the wraps and then yeah. the gloves and uh, you know, yeah, warming up, stretching out. On the other side of the room, um, uh, Morlin is there, Barnaby. She is deliberately not looking at Zilla doesn't want to give Zilla an opportunity mm. to get in her head probably um she is focusing up and yeah she is um she is enjoying a uh, tactical um protein based mm. um uh, modest snack let's make this two rolls okay. um the first will be um a roll for you Barnaby to to just get it into the food that she is currently right. eating because that doesn't sound straightforward I will make a second roll which is just going to be a fortune roll which is just rolling a, a d6 yep. and that will be a roll to determine how effective slash the, fast yeah. slash dangerous the, mm-hmm. this fish that you found um, yep. could be to a fighter's metabolism <laughs> it was foul let me tell yeah. you it was yeah. disgusting yeah. Yeah, okay. you barely touch it <laughs> I'm going to roll a finesse roll uh, for uh, just sneakily slipping a little tincture into the into the food. That is four. Okay, great. Um, and now I'm going to make my roll. <laughs> okay. Uh, so Barnaby, tell me, um, how's it happen? How do you get it? How do you do it? I'm going to wander over and um, pretend that I placed the bet on her. <laughs> okay. Yep. Yeah, sure. So, hello, hello. I just wanted to let you know I placed my bet, and I, I think, I think you've got this one actually. So, um, I thought I'd place a bet on you actually. 
Well, I hear I am the smart money. Yeah, well, absolutely. I mean, you know, it's got to be got to be rusty, right? It's been a few, been a few months, years, whatever. Can't remember what she said. Wasn't really listening. What do you What do you make of her pre-fight ritual? What exactly is she doing over there? Um, well, she looks over, and as she does, yeah, slipping out of the coat, the fold of my coat, uh, yeah. is a small bottle. Uh, wow, she's really going for it, and I, I just, you know, just drop a little bit of the old essence de raw fish, yeah, uh, in in there, and then um, slip the bottle into my pocket. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, so that's she's quite popular, isn't she? Yeah, <laughs> a lot of people gathering around. You know, is um, she doing anything special over there? More than sort of like, she watches Zilla for a while, and then she shakes her head and she says, "She's good, but, is she but she's good mortal." As you? She's That's not a true. god. Yeah. She's not mm. a god, and the sooner every, the sooner I make everyone realise that, the better for the whole industry, frankly. Well, once you've once you've beaten her, what else is there? You know, where's left to go? You can. She sort of flinches as you mention her like winning this fight. It's mm. clearly you're you're getting a little bit in her head, Barnaby, and mm. and she's not really into it. So, in fact, that that let that be the complication of your role. Um, <laughs> she, in fact, she she is going to shove you quite hard. Oh, um, oh. shove you quite hard away. Um, <laughs> okay, well, fine. Well, good luck anyway. Yeah. You know, break a leg. Oh no, that's not that's not a fighting thing, is it? You don't want to break a leg. That's a okay. At this thing, point, she it? punches you in the stomach. <laughs> um, uh, take take me. Uh, yeah, take level one harm. Punched stomach. <laughs> Yeah, the, well, un- unfortunately, Barnaby, that's going to undo your healing clocks from last time. Yeah. No, that is gonna the healing clock. Literally clean my clock. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She how has. Far, how close were you to healing? One, one segment. Close. He was close. Ah. Maybe Barnaby, you'd have if you weren't still exhausted from the last call. I would have noticed that there was a punch better. coming. Yeah, maybe you would have. Well, maybe you would have had the not dodged it, but had the presence of mind not to to notice that her patience was up. But um, but here we Fair are. Enough. There, there is a ding, 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 ding uh, sound um, from outside. Grine and um, Marlene sort of, you know, enter back in after their fight. Grine is unconscious. Grine is unconscious. Oh. <laughs> so not that one. Yeah, Grine is unconscious <laughs> and blood is blood is pouring from his mouth and nose. Um, he's being sort of like, in fact, he's being carried in by Marlene, which is which is oh, nice. Oh, that's nice. She spots you and goes, "Oh, Zilla." Hey, good job out there. Didn't tell it- Grine also. Good job. When he wakes up, <laughs> she sort of like looks at looks at the limp form of Grine, and uh, she sort of like slaps his cheek and goes, "Gee, that Grinezilla said you did very well." And then she <laughs> makes um, Grine's mouth move and goes, "Oh, oh thank oh, you, oh, sir. I appreciate oh. it very much. Thank you." You, you should wake him up as soon as possible, though. That is really bad for you, <laughs> as be, well you know. <laughs> as well I know. As he'll, well you know. He'll be fine. And she sort of like pops. Pops grind down. So I hear you're going to be fighting uh, tonight. That's a surprise. Yeah, well, it, to me too. It, it is a surprise. But uh, you know, when the mood takes you, when the when the when the call of the ring just uh, just moves you. Um, uh, yeah. So I agreed with Mr. Mr. Colburn that I would do a violence here. You know, <laughs> fun. You feeling positive? She's a she's a oh, tough yeah. one. Uh, yeah. Tell me about tell me about M- M- Molan. Well, she's a crowd favourite, uh, which is why she's on at the top of the show. Sure. Um, gosh, what can I tell you? Um, I mean, we are technically on the same team, so I don't know how much I should be trying to... Um, oh, what yeah, the hell? For old, for old yeah, time's sake. Yeah, come on. Well, um, I'll tell you this. She plays to the yep. crowd, and um, mm-hmm. she'll try and get you to tilt. She'll try and get inside your head. Oh, right. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> Getting in here. <laughs> That's Impenetrable right. fortress. Impenetrable yeah. fortress. That's right, Zilla. Yeah. Anyway, best of luck to you. Um, I'd better get this one into an ice bath. Um, yeah, you and, should. Yeah, you so, should. Yeah, so she sort of like to- uh, like carries the sort of floppy form of Grind. Yeah. I'm obviously um, completely horrified. <laughs> yes, yeah, Barnaby. Um, this is, is a the, lot of blood. What is happening here? Yeah. Um, and from outside, suddenly you can hear um, the, the booming voice of Cross, which carries through the walls. Ladies and gentlemen, the headline bout, Morlan versus a legend of fighting, Zilla. <laughs> and it is yeah. it is time to head out there. Um, yeah. 
Zilla, as you walk to the door, actually Morland just like pushes past you and and gets out ahead of you. All right. Um, walks out first. Mind games begin. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Age before beauty. There you go. I don't know how old they are. <laughs> um, it's hard to tell because their uh, their um, noses have been broken so many times. There's a, mm. and a lot of scars and stuff. Now, okay. But, yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Yes. Uh, well, you head out. You are led up as before back in, into the ring. Colburn. Um, so you know, sort of holds up, like in- introduces you both. Do you have like a nickname, Zilla? Did you have it? Did the you have the bruiser? Ni- the bruiser. Zilla the bruiser. Yeah. Bruiser. Yeah. yeah. The bruiser bruiser out against Morlan the mangler. <laughs> Colburn is kind of you know shuffling backwards. Kind of he he has to really duck to get through this metal door in the in, in the cage. <laughs> and before you know it, um, uh, Zilla, you are you are finding a familiar place um, in, in one corner of the ring and yeah. uh, Morland she is kind of you know sort of like flexing her neck she's kind of like bouncing on her on, on, on the balls of her feet she's like you know giving the crowd some of that um, they are they are really amped up and the bell rings and it's seconds away ding 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 and uh, she sprints at you um, Whoa. running with an uppercut alright yeah what do <laughs> Alright, you're Chill. Set, Yeah. I dodge out of the way, I dodge. Make me a roll and I tell you what, this roll will cover the first round. Ooh, okay, cool. How many rounds? Twelve? Uh, um six. Four. Four rounds. Unless someone gets locked unconscious. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well I've got two in skirmish and also two in wreck, and I feel like I'm more skirmishing than I am wrecking right now. Okay. So I'm gonna well, I mean not that it makes a numerical difference, but there we go. And uh, that's four. You duck out of the way. Um, you don't get hit with this kind of like devastating uppercut. Yeah. It's tremendously like fast, Zilla. Yeah. You sort of, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah you, you, like Quicksilver. Yeah. Uh, you you duck out the way, but she um, the the speed does kind of have you slightly on the back foot, and she does kind okay. of like start getting in some less devastating sort of body blows. Wow. Um, y- you are. Um, She's fast. She is fast. Yeah. Um, uh, over the course of this kind of like first round. Um, th- you're both kind of just like sizing each other up there are no like uh, one point like you seem to sort of have her on the ropes but when you go for mm. a knockout blow she just sort of ducks under and and is somehow around the back of you and sweeps the leg oh man How, yep. is she tall what's her range um she's uh sort of medium height um a similar build to you actually oh, oh okay yeah okay. similar reach right. yeah okay uh barnaby where mm-hmm. are you in all this uh i'm uh, hovering near the entrance to the backstage area and and keeping an eye on what's going on i'm gonna wait until it looks like i, I you know i assume it's gonna go the full four rounds because these are two hardened competitors and i'm gonna probably make my move uh, as the fourth round begins that's where I, I will be for the for this part of the fight but keeping um, keep an eye on it so i know what's you know when's the right moment cool biding your time mm-hmm. um, as you sort of uh, look out over the crowd um you you think you spot several pairs of eyes uh, looking at you, you know that feeling, like that uncomfortable mm. feeling that you're being watched. Yep. But when you kind of look over in their direction, um, again, like there's nothing there. Ding, ding, ding! Round two. Um, all, right. all right, Zilla. How okay. how are you coming She's out? She's got this speed, one? but I've got stamina, so I am going to uh, wear her out. I'm going to get in really close and rain down blows, um, and uh, and yeah, hope that she can't keep up with the um, okay. speed and ferocity and and relentlessness. Of uh, blow after body blow. You're leaning on this on your on your strong strong stamina. Great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Been doing my cardio, even though I haven't been fighting. I've been <laughs> yeah jogging through the streets of Volisport. <laughs> yeah, it's been great. You've been beating. It's very frozen. dangerous. Yeah. Very dangerous yeah. way to keep fit in Volisport is jogging. Yeah. Yeah. You've been beating the crap out of frozen meat and stuff, uh, and also mm-hmm. like oh, yeah. you feel um uh, it, it it's like riding a bike. Violently, Violently riding a bike. It's like, yes. yeah, it's like punching a bike. Yeah, I love it. She loves it. Cool. Um, yeah, right, right back into it. Like, she, I remember why I did this. It's uh, it's just brutal fun. It's such a rush, such a high. It's a shame. It's a uh, shame. It's not a more profitable way to uh, to make a living. Well, roll me for round two then. Okay. All right. Let's go. Uh, still a skirmish because, as I understand it, wrecking is when you actually just want to destroy Smash something stuff, yeah. and you actually want to like you know destroy something. So, uh, oh, I got a one and a six. So six. Great, we go for the six. Yeah, this round, um, Morlin is uh, un. She is unable to get an opening on you. Um, she is 
uh, as you assess from round one, uh, she sort of like places an awful lot on getting one massive knockout blow yeah. in. Um, but but you are you are too fast. Um, you are not giving her any kind of opening. You're not doing a huge amount of damage to her, but but I mean she's, she's getting worn out. She hasn't got the conditioning. The conditioning. Yeah. I tell them the conditioning. She's yeah. got by the by the end of this round. Um, she's got uh, she's got like a small cut at the corner of her mouth. Blood sort of like smeared down her neck, and um, and she is um, pouring sweat. She looks exhausted, um, mm. but nowhere near sort of uh, physically physically broken. And it's like ding, 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 ding. You, you go back. Um, there's, there's a sort of, there's a, there's a man there who's like, you know, ready to rinse out your mouth if you, if you, if you want that Zillow. If you, you know. No, no, no. It's mind games now. Do I have any? Have I got like a just a like a nosebleed or something like that? Because uh, like yeah, a little I'm Hollywood leave, cut on the there. cheekbone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little, little Hollywood graze and kind of a bit of a nosebleed and yeah, the the, the red mist has descended. Yeah. and Zilla's like. Mm, yeah. Sure. Mm, sure. Mm, yeah. All right. Someone's trying to kind of like wipe at the thing, mm. and you're just like. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> leave yeah. me. I throw a towel over here and. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. That sounds. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Excellent. Um, can I do a quick survey to see if Cross is? Uh, can resist the urge to watch this main event because presumably it's a pretty big deal you know he, he got into this because of the love of fighting surely he must be watching this one at least he got onto he got into this for the for the love of um, initially for the love of hurting people and mm. stayed in it for the love of making money but yeah he loves watching people get hurt people are getting hurt and he stands to make a huge amount of money from this so mm. you better believe he is watching yeah he yep. is um he's in the VIP area actually yeah okay Kind of, st- he sort of stood. He sort of stood, just like watching intently. He's not carousing or cheering Great. or anything. He's just watching. Good. And if I glance over at the betting desk, does the person who I slipped the VIP ribbon to, are they looking tempted? Are they looking antsy, like they want to get out there and see this history being made? You don't see them at all. Interesting. Good. There's a there's a sign um, there's like a sign uh, it says like no further bets that's yep. kind of just mm-hmm. been like sort of like slid over the, the mm-hmm. sort of hole right round three all right uh, what's happening Zilla okay I can barely focus on anything else because I just love hitting people so much sure so I'm in the ring but with what's left of my situational <laughs> awareness I I do sort of notice that Barnaby is around and about that the betting table has stopped taking bets and I think this round. The goal should be showboating as hard as possible to just like bring the focus in. So no one is looking at anything else. It okay. just needs to be a spectacular, obnoxiously showboaty round for the crowd. So this one's for the crowd. This is for my people. This is for the fans. For the fans. <laughs> yeah. 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 Exactly. Great. Okay. Well, tell me, tell me how you're, tell me how you're rolling that. Okay. Um. Well, it doesn't well, have to change I mean, if you don't. If it's it's, still a, it's a performance, but it is still a fight at the end of the day. So it's just a, mm. it's um, it's an, an an elaborate showy kind of skirmish roll. So, oh, two fives, so five, yeah. Wow, great. Yeah, well, I mean, you tell you tell me how 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 does this showboating happen, Zilla? <laughs> All right, I start like dancing around the ring, you know, just kind Glossic. of like, just yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, just yeah. an elaborate dance that I invented yeah. and will become known in the city of Olisport as the, the Zilla floss. Yeah. Um, no one's seen anything like it before. It's extremely distracting. The flossing uh, is advanced technology to Volisport. <laughs> Yeah, 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 and I've discovered it. And um, yeah, yeah, it's an elaborate, infuriating dance, like flossing, uh, that draws attention, like flossing, and also makes my opponent furious at the disrespect I am showing the, the sport and the art of prize fighting. The intensity of the fighting is kind of ramping up, like despite all this showboating. Um, you, you're you still kind of like raining blows and kind of like amping up the crowd. People are starting to look very sort of nervously over at the kind of betting uh, shop mm-hmm. and they can mm-hmm. still see the sort of like long odds on Zilla and they're starting to people are starting to get a little restless that, that um, they might be suddenly out of quite a lot of money but Morland does manage to land one solid blow um, just just on your shoulder um, just take me level one harm um, for this okay. for this Zilla um, okay 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 I would like nothing to serious. Out- yeah, uh, and I, I don't know if this is probably not relevant at this stage, but it's never been relevant at all so far. I have a special ability called Vigorous. It says you recover from harm faster, permanently fill in one of your healing clock segments, and take one 
D to healing treatment roles. So I okay. don't actually think that's relevant right now. It becomes relevant la- later on. Yeah, mm-hmm. it sounds like it. It sounds okay, like, cool. but you definitely not like this is a this is like a a, a bad blow to anyone else. Mm. I mean, if, if this would put Barnaby in hospital, but um, but you <laughs> but you you'll yeah, be okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Ow. Nevertheless, level one harm. Mm. Mm. Level one harm, and um, Morlin mm. is kind of you know, like furiously set back. Yeah, the round is over. You're 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 back in your seat, Barnaby. You look over and you notice that Cross Colburn is not in the VIP area where he was. Mm. Uh, he's actually ringside now, mm. and. Um, uh, and he's having a word with a referee. Oh yeah, there's a referee. <laughs> yeah, and then there is a referee, very, but they're, they're not like low key. Yeah. They're yeah. not super involved. <laughs> no, nobody wants them to be there. They don't want to be there. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, the referee is largely there to do what they are about to do, which is to uh, pull a lever on the on the side of of the ring, uh, which mm. makes like a very loud kind of like chunk noise and some machinery at the in the ceiling starts to kind of like boop, 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 like tremble everyone loses their minds because they know what's coming uh, this is a very special treat reserved only for the annual festival of fights uh, and from the ceiling descend uh, two sort of large metal they look like huge tuning forks but they kind of go ding 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 like that and they are lowered down until they are touching the edges of the cage and you feel and see blue sparking Lightning, electrify, electrify. This is what I was afraid of. Now that I think about it, <laughs> electrify the now sides that of the I think cage. About it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I should have thought about the yep. the electrical element. Yeah, yeah. I feel the like component of the fight. Yeah. This is my moment to go and um, <laughs> rush over to the uh, rush over to the slip through the office um, and and see if the chalkboard person is still in there doing their chalkboard stuff or what what they're up to. So I'm going to try and make my way to the betting office. Make me, I tell you what, make me an all-purpose roll for just that kind of slipping through. Mm-hmm. Um, you are finesse? known to yeah. the security person at this point, but it's, mm. you know. Well, I'll be able to walk past him. It's just about making sure I'm not crossing anyone yeah. in the corridor or whatever. Yeah, exactly. That is a two. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, I tell you what, you do make it in, um, but the, uh, the the chalkboard person is, is right. back in. Okay. The, the the betting thing. They were unable to find anyone to kind of give them a, a ruling on this yeah. on this odd situation. So they've mm. just gone back to. They've just returned to. They've reset mm. basically. Uh, mm. Okay, I, I'm going to go in um, and say, oh, I I ran into um, Cross. Uh, he wants to talk to you about the odds. Uh, I sound, it sounded important. He's ringside at the moment. Very very important. Also, you've got to see this. I mean, this fight's going to be incredible. They just, you know, electrified the cage. It's going to be astonishing making history or something they were saying so um you should probably nip out grab cross chat to him about the odds and then uh, stick around and have a quick look at the fight you know it's gonna be incredible the final round what's it gonna be five minutes tops well <laughs> potentially a lot less <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Perhaps um, if someone if someone hits that cage they're gonna be uh, mm-hmm. fried roll me for this barnaby but i'll i'll tell you that you're rolling with limited effect here because yep. um, it it's w- quite a lot to ask them. Leaving to would require them to leave you in the room with the money. Yes, that's true. That's true. Uh, it's a sway roll. I've got two uh, dice. Fingers crossed. That is no lie. Two sixes. Wow! Wow! That's our first are. crit. Woo! Absolutely. Crit! 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 crit. <laughs> wow! Unbelievable. Our first. Our, our first critical. Yeah. Um. Well, yeah, it's happening, Barnaby. So what? What? It, what if two, if two ones is snake eyes, what's two sixes? Two snakes. Two, yeah, two snakes. Two curly snakes. Okay, two curly snakes. Two curly, curly snakes. snakes. Um, yeah. double snakes. So yeah, I, I've I've persuaded them. Obviously, that they really do need to see this, and actually, the the pittance they're getting from Cross and even the threat of violence from him is is not equal to their love of the fight. Yeah. Um. So uh, plus they they feel like they're they're on official duty. They feel like the boss has actually summoned them, and that this is just a good excuse to to leave um uh and then yep yeah, uh they they i guess taken by the moment sweep through um and yeah head off and they have incredibly left you alone in the room with a them. metal box full full of, of coin full of coin full of the takings all the takings of the night what i would like to do is is listen i assume that not only is this person rushing out to to see what's 
going to happen. But a lot of the other fighters from backstage, you know, they'd, they're not like necessarily on official duty. So I'm just going to listen for the corridor. I've got a bit of time, presumably, as the round goes on to hear yeah. people you know, rushing through the corridor. And then I'm going to try and um, leave. How big is the lockbox? The lockbox is... Um, Are we it's talking about... toolbox size? It's about like, yay big if, if yeah, I mean if that makes mm -hmm. sense over webcam at all um, let's call <laughs> let's call it like one and a half foot uh, cubed okay fair it's enough it's big and it's quite heavy you can lift it but it's a two hand job yeah okay I am going to yeah I'm going to attempt to lift it and where could I put it Is can there we a... flash back why don't we flash back yeah and I mean, um, go on presumably Sorry. there's a there's a, a rear exit to this place within the sort of green room area right is there or what an assumption um mm -hmm. we are just, underground can't just, can't just be one entrance why because <laughs> it's a fire hazard <laughs> have you even thought about the fire safety of this venue <laughs> they've got an electric freaking cage <laughs> <laughs> a ruddy nightmare it would be if that thing went up <laughs> okay here's what i'll um here's what i'll give you there is no okay. there is no uh, right. second back exit but in the green room while you were in there you did notice that there is a, a ventilation system mm -hmm. um it's like connects the it, well there's 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 like there's vents in sort of every room just to like yep. make sure that this underground thing kind of gets like a, a good amount of oxygen Airflow. circulating <laughs> yeah. yeah and this this vent um is uh yeah connected to this 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 large why don't we say about a foot and a half <laughs> square <laughs> vent um, <laughs> you're just gonna post it like, yeah it does it, in. It, it yeah it um it it goes forward then there's a bend to the right Mm -hmm. And if you can somehow get it all the way out of there, it will plop out into um, uh, into into the next building. Okay. Into the into the into next door. Feels like something I'd like to attempt, please. Yep. Um, yeah, certainly. I, even if I can't move it down the vent, it could at least stay there, and and we can maybe come back for it from the other side later Truly on. Truly devious heist. Mm. Where it, the, it never left the building. Never left the building. I'm not walking out with it, obviously. Building. And I think they'd probably notice yeah. if I walked out with my pockets jingling with, you know, coin. So yeah, I'm going to I'm going to slide it into the vent and I, you know, I'm perfectly happy to if I can't get it into the next building from here, I'm perfectly happy to leave it there, reset the vent and um and come back from the other side afterwards make me a, make me a roll for the for the for the venting process that would be it's not my uh it's not my strong point uh so i am gonna have to push yourself push myself yeah which is difficult because i'm on four stress now at the moment so um yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna push myself uh cool. and it's i assume uh, like a tinker roll like i'm fiddling with the vent and that sounds about right stuff. yeah so, and we'll say as well that this is happening in uh, Colburn's office, the vent there, not the green room, because fair enough. it's there's we know there's no one in the office. That's fair. That's fair. Okay, that is a two. Okay, oh. you get it into. Okay, you get it into the vent, and mm. you manage to like reattach the vent covering, mm. so you cannot see the lockbox inside this vent. Yeah, you, however, cannot. Yeah, you you were unable to sort of like shunt it out the vent, kind of like out of the sure. out of the bounds of the property, um, which is maybe just as well, seeing as we haven't established where it would actually fall mm. onto, were it to sort of like <laughs> plot. It might be that might be the police station next door. <laughs> <laughs> They're all just playing cards. Yeah. Okay. He stands on a garbage barge and goes out to sea. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Yep. Yeah. The money is the the entire takings are currently hidden in the vent at this right. point. I ought to leave back. the office pretty yeah. sharpish, I'd imagine. Mm. That's fine. No need to roll for that. Zilla. Final round. Let's do it. Let's go to uh, Electricity Town. Yeah. Uh, we're in an electrified cage at this point, which is um, mm, as is tradition, of course. I'm trying to create as big a distraction as possible uh, to to create cover for Barnaby to get the heck out. Perhaps mm -hmm. with the money. I don't know about the vent. I don't know yep. about the vent situation. Um, but I do know that this is our time. If everything has gone somewhat to plan, then this is our time to make an exit. Yeah. Um, and and make make some chaos. Yeah. To um to escape under the cover of right. So I would like to flash back to um our, us casing the joint earlier in the day. Mm -hmm. 
And I imagine during the day, the venue is sort of just like a training, sort of a training venue. You yeah. Know, like kind of low, low key, yeah. fairly empty. People might be like practicing in the ring. They might be, you know, it's got a gym, right? It's got a gym. It's got a backstage. Yeah. And Colburn so charges I, people to use the gym, but um, I bet he yeah, does. Yeah. So we are here, and I know about the electrical uh, giant tuning forks in the ceiling area, in the roof mm-hmm. area. Yeah. So I am up on the gantry, or what have you. Actually, we're underground, so I guess there's not a lot of space for gantries. But um, wherever the tuning forks are stored, maybe they're not even up there most of the time. Maybe they're maybe they're installed later, and they're in a storage area. Anyway, I would like to tamper with, let's say, the cage so that it is electrically isolated from the rest of the cage. Do you know what I mean? So that it. So, so the, the cage is made of metal, so it's yep. conducting, right? Mm-hmm. So if it was electrified, the whole thing would be electrified. Yes. Mm-hmm. But I would like to create a non-electrified. I'd like to, that to to kind of loosen a part of the cage. Oh, okay. So you want you want a section of the cage, that a quarter safe, of the cage, to be that non-electrified. That is electricity free. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So that's. You can roll me for that tampering, or you can take two stress, and it just happens. I guess that would be a tinker, mm-hmm. a tinker sort of role, which I obviously have nothing in. I'm already on two stress, but also I really, I really want that weakened area of uh, of cage. So yeah, I'll take the stress. I'll take the stress. I'll have four stress. Cool. Yeah. I'll take four stress. Yeah. It's not a it's not a difficult thing to do, seeing as you're not actually tampering with the sort of electrical mechanism. No. Um, all you're doing really is is like maybe sort of stuffing something cloth or rubber or something like somehow insulating uh, a section of the of the of the ring right yeah um, yeah 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 during a quiet when everyone goes for lunch i'm just sort of like fiddling with the yeah. uh, you know fiddling with the cage yeah just uh, yeah that's okay yeah you slide cool. you slide some some manner of breaker in between the kind of like links where the where the yeah 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 the, these, Pro- probably something I, I borrowed off of um off of edvard yeah yeah, Edvard he would, would, have, know that he would certainly yeah. have helped you out with this. Um, yeah. He could have whipped up something, no problem. Some sort of paste, some sort of uh, thermal electrical insulating paste. Edvard yeah. and his pastes. <laughs> he's got so he's, many. He's got a paste for everything, that guy. Uh, yep. Yep, it's done. It's done. Cool. All right, cool. cool. So forward. back in the present, yep. I, um, I'm wearing rubber-soled shoes. Okay. Did I mention... <laughs> Mark it off your load, but you have, mini flashback. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I I I brought a pair That's of unusual uh, I item, know. I guess. But, uh, but you know, like boxing boots, but yeah. with a, like a rubber, a waterproof rubber sole. Sure. Um, and uh, I'd like to boot the cage uh, in a way that looks accidental, but creates a spectacular shower of sparks that lands on the crowd and Ooh. causes a great commotion. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Not so deadly, not yeah. injurious. It's not going to kill it or hurt anyone, yeah. except if maybe it goes in someone's eyes. <laughs> but otherwise, it's just very dramatic and quite scary for a crowd. No worries. Um, yeah. So you're kicking a bit of the the, yeah, the yeah, fence yeah. that is still electrified. Yeah. Yeah. I let I let I let Maulin sort of like back me into a corner. Yeah. And uh, and I boot, um, I boot the fence. The electric cage. Maybe you're pushing off into a sort of launching attack. Exactly. Okay. Launch myself at her like a missile. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, yeah, make me well roll. Yeah. Let, roll let's there. roll for a skirmish again. Let's go. Uh, uh. Okay, so one and a two. So a two. Okay. So two. So two. Okay, yeah, yeah. So two. I, there's yeah. no dressing it up. It's yeah. There's no, yeah, yeah, the, I've got the, to tell it. The tone of your voice there definitely sounded as if there was like a butt. Coming, mitigating but, circumstances. Yeah. But there's but there's, yeah. but there unfortunately isn't. Um yeah. yeah, you do this, um you 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 do kick out. The sparks do fly. People further back are cheering. They they bloody love this light show. It's it's extremely exciting. And this kind of missile launch thing that you've got going is really cool. Unfortunately, it's the launching attack bit that doesn't quite work. Mm. But Morland sort of like just catches you out of the air. And sort of converts it into an agonising pile driver. Um, Oh no! And just sort of slams you down um, and take uh, take level one harm for me again, Zilla. Okay. Um, Pile driven. (laughs) Um, Yeah. Um, While this is going on, I've I've sauntered back to ringside to um, to see how my wager is going going on my bet. Um, Okay, Barnaby. Um, I'm going to be somewhere near Cross, but not 
that close to cross. Here's what happens to you, Barnaby. You are sort of stood in the crowd. Um, as those sparks like mm. fly out, they uh, illuminate briefly um, two faces that are hauntingly familiar to you, Barnaby. It's two uh, hooded figures, um, and they sort of lower their hoods. And wouldn't you know it, it's Rosie and Josie. Um, <laughs> They fix you. They sort of speak in an overlapping way, um, sort of like one starts before the, the other one finishes, and they say, You tricked us. The spinning top. It didn't have a ghost in it. We got in trouble. A lot of trouble. And now we're going to play a trick on you. And uh, they sort of... Isn't it past your bedtime, you two? <laughs> <laughs> you get as far as, isn't it past your, and then... Um, Two small hands are sort of whoop on your forehead, and oh. Barnaby, you are sort of whoop, zonked out of consciousness. Um, Zilla, you're sort of vaguely aware of seeing something oh, happen, no. happen to Barnaby up from uh -oh. your position. Last thing in the I do ring. is look at my glass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and um, yeah, Barnaby, you are um, oh, no. uh, you are you are knocked out, and you don't know what happens next, but. Um, but I'll just tell you, you are actually, you are, you are spirited away, spirited out of the building. Wow. Um, what? Physic physically spirited Physically away. spirited, yeah. Oh, wow. You are, okay. you, you've been taken. Oh, wow. Let's resolve this fight. Hi, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't know where Barnaby's gone. Um, did I see Rosie and Josie? <laughs> um, terrible yeah. twos. Yes. Yeah, okay. All right. The terrible two. I, uh, I, I from think your, something... From your position, yeah. like, upside down, pile driven... Um, oh, yeah. You, yeah, you, you, you could still recognise their Ow. distinctive, alarming, um, okay. little pale faces. Yeah. Oh no. Okay. This is a this is a bad turn. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> all right. Well, uh, as far as I know, stick to the plan. I don't know where Barnaby's gone, and the, the Rosie and Josie are probably bad news. Mm. But um, in the absence of any other intel, I need to end this fight. And uh, for some reason, I've I have to I have to win this fight. Because the signal was, it's good to be back. Wait, no. <laughs> Maybe if I can just get demolished in a fight and then be like... <laughs> it's good to be back. <laughs> it's, good to be back. <laughs> it's good to, brackets, have my close back, brackets, back, brackets, broken, broken. brackets. <laughs> yeah. Well, let, I mean, I don't want to lose a fight. I, you know, I, I've got a reputation to yep. maintain, even if, uh, yep. even if I have retired. So, I look for an opening. I look for uh, a moment of, of distraction, perhaps by the by the shower of sparks and the, the commotion it's created and the and the people yelling about getting spark burns. Mm -hmm. um, I look for an opening and go for a really, really massive uppercut. Yeah. Brilliant. Real, right on the jaw. Right. Full rotation of the head. Total knockout. If it works. Yeah. Roll me for that and let me know if you want okay. to be pushing yourself, etc, etc. Uh, You're on four yeah. stress, right? I am on four stress. Uh... How many stresses can I have? I'm looking at my character sheet now. Yeah. Nine, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, start yeah. getting into trauma. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. No, no, no. I'm I, I'm I'm already on four stress, and like, uh, yep. I know that's that's serious here in Blades in the Dark. So I will just go for another skirmish roll, and we're going for a, a legendary uppercut. Yeah. Okay. Four. 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 Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Your legendary uppercut lands it's not the knockout blow you were hoping for but um it certainly sends her reeling back into back into her corner um more which is electrified she doesn't hit the wall unfortunately oh. um, moreland spits blood out like mm. while maintaining okay. eye contact with uzilla and sort okay. of wipes her mouth very cool and she she sort of comes like warming up how like, did that food poisoning go by the way and she sort of comes like sp sprinting up to you she's kind of like sort of ducking and weaving and she is like heading up to you she draws back her fist for um for a mm -hmm. for, for a devastating blow mm. uh, and right when she's about an inch away from you she just vomits Whoa! <laughs> like that uh swings misses um the vomit unfortunately connects with the electric fence and arcs completely uh, oh back gosh. to her body and she is um, <laughs> She's you still oh, no. <laughs> you by her own projectile vomit. Yeah. Oh no, um, that's bad. Zilla, you and everyone else sees flashes of her skeleton as <laughs> she is sort of like <laughs> like that. Um, oh no. Uh, and she eventually the vomit stream 
ends and she collapses oh. in a sort of sizzling heap. Oh. Is she dead? No. Uh, well, actually, that's not. I fair. check her pulse. I check her pulse. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. You do it. You check her yeah. pulse. Roll for checking yeah. her pulse. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where the referee is in all this. But <laughs> to be fair, I... the referee could not have anticipated this <laughs> rapid turn of events. But I check her pulse. Okay. You check her pulse. Meanwhile, the referee is kind of like you know try, he's pulled the lever. The things are the fight is over. He's trying to get into the cage to administer okay. first aid and stuff. Okay. Yeah. You check her pulse. Okay, uh, okay. Yeah, check her pulse. How is she? I was waiting for you to roll for it. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, what do I roll I've, for I've, checking someone's pulse? I've made it your fault if she's dead. <laughs> I mean, really all I'm rolling for is whether I successfully check her pulse or not. So. Yeah, that's true. Um, okay, make it, I suppose. <laughs> it sounds like finesse. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. I'll tell you but, what, I, I will roll to see if she's alive. Because if I fail it, it might just be that I'm very bad at taking pulses because yeah. I was never medically trained. I got a couple of twos, so two. Couple of twos. Um, you yeah. cannot. Find... Oh wait, no, that wasn't. I should really have only rolled. Wait, no, I haven't got any dots in finesse. Oh well, so, then sorry, we, was... roll, we do roll two and take the worst result, which is. Oh okay. Yeah. Two. Um, right you, there we go. You cannot find a pulse. The referee who runs in knocks you aside and quickly establishes. <laughs> Out of my way. And establishes quickly. Yeah. She is alive. She is alive. Because her fortune roll was a five. Oh uh, sweet. Cool. Hooray! I roar. All right. It is good to be. It is good to be back. Yeah. Uh, the I couldn't have yelled that if she was dead, is the thing. <laughs> it wouldn't have seemed fair. That it, would have been... It would have hit to different. have killed someone Poor tonight. Form. Yes. It would have hit different. But yes. she's not dead, so yay. It's good to be back. Cool. I, I roar at the crowd. Daphne in the crowd, in sort of call and response, almost immediately shouts, mm. Raid! Blue coats! And, uh, like, yeah, immediately people start panicking sprinting towards the one exit there's a bit of a you know crush as they, as they're as everyone's trying to get out of there the place is emptying out it's emptying out um, cool. it, apart from i suppose like staff and 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 people who work there the blue coats in volisport have a, a real nasty reputation for unnecessary uh, violence and brutality and abuse of power so no if if people know that the blue coats are coming it can't be good for them the cage is no longer electrified yep. but i already i i pre I pre-prepared part of the cage and I want to do it, so I wreck that part of the cage anyway. Cool, yeah. You, I, like, yeah. Boot, boot my way out of the cage as yeah. if I'm trying to flee flee the scene as well because it's a raid, yeah. you know? There's a, terri- a t- natural, terrific Spartan kick and it sort of flies yeah. out. Yeah. 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 Okay, good. Great. I just didn't want that flashback to be wasted. No, well, it wasn't wasted. <laughs> All for nothing. Every good. People who are fleeing look over their shoulder and go, wow, that was cool. <laughs> good. Excellent. Cool. I look around for Barnaby in the rush. You don't see the, him in the hubbub and I don't see him so uh, I assume he's already made it outside even though that wasn't the plan Barnaby and I, I make a move for the stairs along with everyone else you are out Daphne is out um, you are all out in fact of the building and I think we'll probably call the school le- school there uh oh so to recap yes on where we are yes. um, you managed to stash the takings mm-hmm. uh, in a vent Nobody mm-hmm. knows that they are in there or where they are, which is cool. Yes. Um, but unfortunately, Barnaby was spirited away by Rosie and Josie before uh, he was able to tell anyone what had happened <laughs> with the money. Um, so uh, Zilla, he looks an awful lot like Barnaby has escaped. Absconded <laughs> with money. all the money, <laughs> except you did. Except Zilla, you I did. did see you, you saw Rosie and Josie. Spooky, you just, spooky girls. Yeah. yeah, and you saw that when Barnaby was, you know, left, he didn't have the all the money with him which I'll remind you is quite a lot of his own money plus all of the Indeed. gang's finances yeah yeah yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. you yeah. meet up with Daphne um, like in an alley beforehand and kind of share the information you have which isn't mm. loads mm. and I think at this point uh, the only option you have is to retreat to Eleanor's largely legal antiques um, okay try and group up with everyone group up with the rest of the gang and figure out a next move and we will call it there Cool. Very suspense. Good. Suspense. Such, Such suspense. Such suspense. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in and watching. Thank you so much, Mike and Jane, for your incredible role playing and uh, inspiring ideas throughout that. That was a really fun one um, for me, anyway. Thanks, uh, Luke. Thank you. You're so welcome. Uh, if you enjoyed this, then there's more to watch. And as you are probably aware, over on Outside Xbox, we play D and D as well. If there's more tabletop tabletop stuff you want to check out go have a look like and subscribe hit ring that bell you know all the normal end of youtube video stuff and we will see you next time bye bye bye